So now, this is my um, Louis Vuitton MM Agenda. Um, I use this as my control center. Um, basically, we can look this look at this as my brain categorized into sections because I just have so many thoughts. I feel like every minute my brain is going at like 100 miles per hour. Um, I just have so many thoughts. So I need to kind of dump that those thoughts into my brain dump. And then that gets um, categorized into these sections. And then um, I'll look at this and then that will determine what goes on my to-do list in my Julio Apunto A6. And that's how my system works. Um, so this is a present from my mom. So uh, when I decided to move into Julio Apunto A6, um, I was trying to find a purpose for this and I'm so glad I, I made it into a control center. Um, I love this system. I feel like um, you can't, I mean, at least for me, this alone cannot uh, cannot work if it didn't have the notebook style planner. And this would not work without the binder style planner. So I'm really glad I did this. And I really like the personal size just because it's kind of in the, um, it's not too large, it's not too small, like the pocket size. So I can actually write, but I can, if I choose to bring this around, it's not so bulky like a, the A5 size. Um, so, okay. This is, um, I first have a acetate paper, acetate paper in the front that I cut down. And then this I got from a vendor that came to our company. I thought the um, print was so pretty. And then I just kind of grouped them together because on the back it has like the product information and I didn't want to see that. So then after that I have, um, I made these um, dividers myself because I have so many pages in here. I really needed um, the thinnest possible divider that would be also durable at the same time. So this is acetate paper that I cut down just with um, paper trimmer and scissors. I made a template on um, InDesign, uh, Adobe InDesign, and then I just cut it down myself. And then I made this, um, vel I printed out this divider in vellum. I made this as well. It has sterling ink here, inspiration. And then this is a vellum from Bunny Plants. I love it. So here I have all my goals and dreams and just inspiration. Um, so this is a year at a glance for 2019. It's also by me. And then on the back is just supposed to house like important days. I'm not using this as a planner, so I didn't have to fill that out. Um, this is a goals insert that I made for myself. And I also listed this on uh, my Etsy shop. So you can check that out. I'll link that below. Um, so what it is, is it, I, I made three columns and, um, I have personal career, family goals. And then, um, I have one section for someday goal. So I filled this out and then that becomes five year ago and it becomes more specific here. And then one year, monthly, weekly, daily. So this really helped me to kind of see if I wanted to achieve that goal, what do I have to do every day, every week, every month? So it became more um, feasible, at least in my mind, so it's not so overwhelming. And then here I can just fill out any additional miscellaneous goals that I have. And then after that, I have the AM routine. Um, so this is also from my shop, but the times are, you can write out your times yourself. I don't plan on waking up at four. I just kind of filled it out. I mean, this can change. It can be like five o'clock or, you know, six o'clock, but I try to wake up at five. Um, and this is my miracle morning routine. Um, if you're not familiar with miracle morning, please go read it. It's such a good book. Um, so I have all of that. And then this is the PM routine. I just kind of break it down because a lot of times I come home and I'm just like, what am I supposed to do now? Like, I really just have to look at everything here. 
um, so that I don't waste time sitting there and like trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do. Um, and it's really important for me to kind of set intentions at the end of the day for the next day so that I know immediately what to do um, the next day. And then I have tracker here. And then this like, this is, I don't have to, like I'm not, like if I don't have to uh, check off all of them, it's okay. It's just a reminder for me to kind of address, like just not forget that these things exist and I have to do them. Um, so I have, couple more pages of trackers and these are also in my shop. I also have the fold out version where the dates are on top so you can check that out. Um, this is, I just have an overall goal um, that's like just very abstract and broad. Um, I just wanted to look at this every single day to remind myself and after that I have a page with the pretty washi tape again that's not no longer available. Um, I just filled out my dream, like what I, uh, where I see myself in 10 years and what kind of life I want to have. Um, this is very, very specific so that I can kind of remind myself of that every day. So up to this point, it was just like goals and, you know, to do's and routines. After that, I made this spread. This is my favorite. Um, it's a fold out um, inspiration Pinterest board basically and I just have all these like quotes. Um, I'm a really visual person so I need to actually see it laid out like this. I don't like reading like lists when it comes to stuff like this. So I have the front page and then the back page. And, and every morning I just kind of go through this. Um, my favorite is doubts and then this is the mute meat sign. I love it. So that's the front and the back and then I just have some graph paper um, in the back and that's also from my shop and then at the end I just have a general to-do list. Um, these don't ha really have a timeline. I just want to kind of remind myself what things I need to get done just in general so if I can't, if I have time I can fill that out into my daily um, uh, Jaleo Apunto uh, on my to-do list. After that, I have the calendar section. This is the insert from Louis Vuitton. Um, I, I mean, I bought it because they're always out of stock. So I bought it in September of last year and then my whole planner system changed. So I'm just trying to find a use for this, but it's not really working. I think next year I'm just gonna need a monthly, overall like monthly uh, on two page spread here. And that should be enough. Um, but these are really pretty because they had the silver edging. They used to have gold, but now they're silver. Um, and then after that, I have the brain food section. This used to be my book section, but I changed to brain food because it has podcast information as well. So this is just a picture I found on Pinterest and I printed on vellum. Um, so I have reading list that's self-development reading list. And then I also have, um, all the books that I own that's fiction here so that I can kind of look at this and see what I want to read next and then podcast recommendations I just write those down here so I have something to reference when I'm looking for a, a podcast to listen to and then the next section is career um, again I just found this image on Pinterest and I printed it on vellum um, I just have an overall like goals for like my career I'm a registered architect so um, I wanted to look up building codes, egress, ADA, and all that stuff. And I just have a couple um, graph pages. I really like graph pages. I, for some reason, I can't really write my ideas down in the line paper. I have to have the graph page. Oh, and then I wanted to show you guys. So this line paper is also from my shop, but I actually put uh, tick marks on top and the bottom so you can actually make like lines from top to bottom and then divide it up however you wish. So this is the graph paper. Next is fitness. This is bunny plants die cut. I put it on a um, adhesive, adhesive dot. 
um, it's removable, removable, so that's fine. It's on the acetate paper thinness. And then I made an inspiration board. Um, this is me before the wedding, like a couple days before the wedding, and that's really inspirational for me because that was me. And then, you know, I can just remind myself that I can do that again. Just have some quotes. And then I'm doing BBG, tra uh, BBG program. This is the Bikini Body Guide program by Kayla Itzins. Itzins, I think that's how you pronounce her name. And I just made this, um, it's a three day program, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, every week, and it's a 12 week program. So I just kind of wrote that out so I can track it. And on top, I'll just write when I started um, and I'll just highlight the workouts that I did. Um, that was one week before I was cleared for um, to work out again. And I was just kind of taking it easy because you know I was still not fully feeling myself. Um, so I have a couple pages and then I just printed out the work entire workout. Um, and then I have a tracker here that's just to track my weight and then what kind of exercise I did because sometimes I'll just go swimming or tennis. So I just put that S for T um, or G for gym. And then um, just some notes. After that, I have the self-care section and this is mostly skincare stuff. I, another vellum I printed. Um, I just put down my routine, morning, evening, weekly, monthly, and then bath time. Um, and then this, I'm tracking my contact lens. Like I got some samples from the doctor's office and I'm just writing down notes, like how long I wore them for and then what I felt. Um, so that I can choose which one to order for the dailies. And they're really expensive, so I wanna make the right choice. Um, and I just have a purchase list, like things I wanna buy and then kind of budget it. And then um, after that, I have the expenses. I bought hairbrush, bathrobe, hair towel, um, contacts. All of these are from my shop, so you can go check that out. And then I have this that I made. It's just like yoga stretches. Um, for like shoulder pain and all that and then I have this filled out um, 12 months planner and this is just kind of tracking like what I did in terms of self-care um, finance I have some goals here and I did some calculations in terms of extra payments for different loans um, some calculations because I always ask myself, okay, so if I put a hundred dollars extra, how much should I save? 150, how much should I save? So it was nice to have that on paper. And then this is my debt payoff tracker. Um, this is, I'm doing the snowball system. So um, like I have three columns, so I have three different loans and then uh, I can fill out the month, month and then um, what I do is after I pay off the first loan, I move to whatever I was supposed to pay that month into the second loan, and then you just snowball it. And that way you pay off your um, loans much faster. And it's just like a fun way to track it. And then I have, I printed my amortization schedule so I can cross that off once I finish paying off that loan um, payment. So that's super fun. Okay, I gotta go faster. I have coupon sheet so I can fill out the coupons. I have a monthly at a glance. So that's just for me to fill out like what um, like major pur purchases um, for each day. Like if I just bought a laptop, I would just fill that out. So I know that was a big purchase. And then I just have again, this um, spread for tracking finance. After that, I have project. I always like to have a little projects going on, so I have a section for that. Graph paper, lists, uh, languages. I'm trying to learn Spanish and Japanese. Um, so I have like the lessons printed out to track. Art. I am planning out some paintings for my bedroom. So just putting down the research here. And then piano. Um, stuff to learn, 
cooking, I basically, this is my menu. Just like all the stuff I've made before. Chicken and duck, seafood, beef, pork and lamb, vegetables, soup. So that we can kind of look at this in a baking. So we can look at this to plan out the meals. Um, Cause I always forget what I've made before. And then um, I just have this meal planner. And then after that, I'm doing the Fly Lady system. So I printed out like her whole like system here. So I have daily cleaning, routine, uh, weekly cleaning, zones. Like I separated my apartment into five zones and the checklist. Marathon cleaning when you really need to get your shit together in terms of cleaning. This is the process. And then Sterling is my son. That's why my channel is called Sterling Inc. But his name is spelled with an I because that's a name. That's how you spell the name. Um, I just have this spread again just to track his doctor's visits or like any kind of milestone. Um, I have his growth chart here and well visit um, schedule. And then I just have a list of childcare books that I want to read. Um, I want to give him like martial arts and dance class lessons, uh, clothing brand, uh, activities, ideas, uh, just recommendations from my colleagues or people I know who have babies. And I'm planning out his uh, 100 day party. So that's just like the stuff I wrote down. Um, uh, when we meet neighbors with kids, I kind of write down their names and where they live so that I don't forget or I can just reference this book. I have an expense tracker for the stuff that I buy for him just to kind of keep track of like how much I'm spending for the baby and then I have a miscellaneous section and this is just like contact list and then like my gardening stuff I'm not really gardening this year but um I usually plant a lot of things so I wanted to keep track of that and then <clears throat> after that I just have a bunch of extra inserts in case I need them mostly just graph paper and then I have a password um insert to, to keep track of my pass password and I also have security answer section so you can fill out the security answers because I can never remember them because I try to make them a little tricky so um I made the security answers um section and then I have this thing this pouch from Amazon it's not five effects I think um I just have some cash in it just in case and I have this boxy fix page lifter and then on the back, I have this Moji things label sheet and then bunny plants. So cute. This is the freebie that came with the package and also bunny plants, these workout stickers. I'm completely obsessed. I can't wait for my second order to arrive. Like, I don't know why I waited so long to order from her because her stuff are just like crazy beautiful. Um, and then quickly, I'll show you this. This is Jillio, medium Campania, bunny plants again, surprise, surprise. Um, I'm sure all of you are really familiar with medium Campanias, um, but there's a zipper here. I don't keep anything here. Oh, stamps. And then this is a secretarial. I just put some um, tabs here. And then on the back, I just have some notes. Um, leather flyleaf. So pretty. I have a calendar section, 2020 insert. It's available in my shop. This is a fold out um, year at a glance. Um, I have the, uh, the whole year in here from June through uh, June next year, I think. So this is the grid version um, on two pages, monthly on two pages. Okay, and then I have Sterling Inc. because I started my Etsy shop, so I wanted to keep track of like the stuff I'm doing there. Um, I have a fold out here, just I have some to-dos. Um, I have a list of like the different sizes and dimensions of the inserts, so I can reference that. And I had a checklist for when I'm making the inserts. Graph paper, I love graph paper. A new project, I'm doing something with my husband, so that's just to keep track of that. I have two do I love these um, tabs. Um, purchase list, expenses, 
graph paper for taking down notes. I actually took out a lot of stuff here because I, it's kind of personal. I didn't want to share that on YouTube. Again, the pull out <clears throat> to do purchase graph paper, K house. That's just our real, real estate properties um, thing. And then um, notes paper, miscellaneous. I just, I always like to keep extra inserts here just in case I need more. And then again, I have the page lifter from Foxy Fix. And then I don't keep anything in the back just cause I don't want to make it bulky. So that's it guys. I'm sorry that it was so long, but um, I have a lot going on. So I wanted to show you guys everything um, kind of in depth, um, but seriously, I use all four every single day. I go through all of them every single day. So I always start with my Louis Vuitton first and go through the inspiration section. And then I um, put anything extra here um, for the to-do list. But usually I um, have already made the to-do list the night before so that I'm more prepared that way. And then this is just my um, brain dump that I carry with this. Um, I really like that. And this is my business binder. This is my personal control center. So this is my brain kind of organized into books. And look at this. It's just, it makes me so happy because I'm so organized because of these planners. And I don't really like forget things because I just write everything down. Um, so that's it guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope I didn't bore you for 50 minutes. Um, so thanks for watching. And um, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below or just follow me on Instagram and then um, DM me there. Um, so, and have a great day. I hope you guys are enjoying your July 4th weekend. Bye.